So I would say the biggest perk of being a psychic medium is my worldview. I don't see you as being separate from myself. I see you as part of me. Why? Because of all my experiences with the collective consciousness, I have the ability to channel the living via their higher self. That is the part of your consciousness that lives on the other side that's directly connected to the divine. So because I have the ability to tap in to people's living consciousnesses, I see us all as one big cloud, one big fluffy cloud. So when I'm on the freeway and you cut me off, I'm not gonna yell at you. I'm gonna sit there and be like, oh, somebody's lower consciousness is in a hurry. Why? Because I see you as an extension of myself. Let me tell you, it's a pretty nice way to go through life, viewing people as part of you. Because there's just no separation. It just makes you feel like kind of a spoke in the wheel. Like you're just not so alone in this world. And you become a little more complacent and a little more relaxed. Um, along those same lines, I have a very passive approach to life. Um, I am in constant communication with the other side, my own personal team on the other side of guardian angels, also known as spirit guides. I'm in constant communication with them. So I am aware of the fact that everyone's soul is here to learn lessons. Everyone's soul is here to grow. So I'm not going to sit here and try to control you because you have your own life to lead and your own path to walk just like I do. So why would I sit there and spread my tendr you know, tendrils out and and try to tentacles out and try to control you. I'm going to control what I can control, which is myself. So I'm going to sit here in my own skin, in my own shoes and shine my light because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So it's really important to at least just worry about yourself and not about other people because we're all here to learn and grow. I'm also not afraid of death. Because of my ability to connect with the deceased, I'm not afraid of death. So if I get hit by a bus tomorrow, I'll just go talk to my medium friends and hang out with them. <laughs> um, okay, number three, the law of attraction. I understand that we are all magnets. Your thoughts and emotions, it's important that you keep those positive so that you can attract positive people and positive opportunities into your life. So you have to understand that it's in the other side's best interest to keep me in my happy place so that I can communicate for them. I'm in their voice. And in order to be their voice, I have to be on their same energetic level. And the angelic realm is very happy. So the other side does whatever they can to keep me happy. They protect my head. They protect my heart. They protect everything, my life. And they bring positive things into my life to keep me in that happy place so that I can speak for them, so that I can channel for them. So that's why I'm in a good mood all the time, because I'm being preserved, for, for lack of a better term. Um, so another thing is that I understand the importance of gratitude. Gratitude is the highest vibrational state possible. If you're constantly thinking you know, God, for what he's given you, he's going to give you more because of your gratitude. So that's why I encourage people to go through life with an attitude of gratitude. And that's how you really shine your light and attract wonderful things and turn yourself into a fantastic magnet for great things in, in life. Um, number four, karma. This is a big one. What goes around comes around. What are you contributing to society? Have you made your deal with the universe? Have you said, hey, universe, you know, I'm going to take care of, um, you know, sick, sick elderly people in the convalescent home in exchange for financial abundance and security, um, you know, bring love into my life, uh, spiritual fulfillment at my core, happiness. What are you offering to the world? What are you giving people? What is your heart focused work? Have you stepped into the positive energy flow of light and love? Or are you fighting forces of nature? Because let me tell you something, if you're not doing your purpose, if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're gonna feel like crap. And I know all about that because I felt like crap for six years because I fought forces of nature. It took those guys six years to get me to become a professional psychic medium. So what happened? I felt like crap. So my, my higher consciousness, the part of my consciousness that lives on the other side was pissed off. My higher consciousness was saying, hey, Christine, you suck. 
And so what did she do? She sent me negative emotion all day, every day. Anxiety, stress, frustration, sadness. So my higher self, that was her way of saying, you're off path. We got to get you back on path. So as long as you know you are on path and doing what you're supposed to be doing, you are this fully functional world of your own where you're going to be in a higher energetic state and the quality of life that you're leading is going to be higher simply because of your karma. You're contributing to society. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And so the universe will rise up to support you on that path, on that personal journey. What do you need, Christine? Ask us. Ask us for what you need. We'll give you what you want. Um, you know, something something as simple as, you know, I was, I was on my way to CPK the other night. And I was like, God, you know, I'm going to spend the rest of the night after I get home cleaning my condo. It'd be really cool to get like a couple iced teas to go instead of one. But that looks kind of greedy and piggy, so I guess I won't ask for that. Just a fleeting thought in the car on the way over there. Well, as it turned out, as I'm leaving CPK, the manager and the server both brought me an iced tea at the same time. So I walked out of there with two iced teas. My life falls into place like the video game Tetris. That kind of stuff happens to me all the time. It is just because you're in the positive energy flow of light and love. The universe just rises up to support you in whatever you need, even if it's just an iced tea. I love iced tea. It's kind of my vice. Um... Number five, the deceased. Of course, I have the ability to connect with deceased loved ones, so I connect with my own on a regular basis. I can talk to my grandparents whenever I want, and I can talk to my cat, Toby, who is my fur-covered son, whenever I want. Um, I feel them show up, I talk to them. It's, it's uh, a fantastic ability. So my heart really does go out to all you guys who have lost somebody, um, because I can talk to them and it's hard for me, so I can imagine what it's like for you guys. Um, now this is the fun part, is that I get to freak people out. Um, I get bored, I want to have fun, so sometimes I, I have fun with my ability. Uh, I was at CPK, I, I hang out at CPK all the time, what can I say, I like their salad. Uh, <laughs> I was at CPK the other night sitting next to this couple eating dinner and writing in my journal. And the husband said to me as I was leaving, wow, you were really going at it there. You had a lot to, to say. And I said, oh, I wasn't really journaling. I was talking to dead people. Have a good night. And then I like left. So they were like, huh? And then I later, I'm friends with the manager. So I later found out from the manager that they were like, is she serious? She's like, yeah, she's talking to dead people. I don't know. I just have fun with it. I just act like a brat sometimes because I can. Um, number seven, psychic friends. Oh, these are so fun. I can't even tell you. When you are psychic and you have psychic friends, our conversations are just on crack. Um, I was sitting on my BFF's couch the other day, and my BFF is not psychic, but she heard, overheard a conversation on the phone between me and one of my medium friends. And I said, no, trans channels tomorrow. We agreed that astral projection was going to be Friday. And when I hung up the phone, my BFF was like, what the hell was that? I'm like, I know, we speak a different language, but it's still fun. It kind of reminds us that we live in our own world, but it's fun to look at the same situation and have us get together and channel alternate realities because then we can put money down and bet on whose channel is going to come to fruition so we can win money with our gift as well. It's pretty fun. It's a, it's a nice little game we can play, um, but it's deep. You know, it's, it, it's a deep connection when you have other people who are either intuitive or believe in that stuff. Um, have personal experiences, can share personal experiences. It's just a different level of conversation. It's a it's a deeper connection. It's like you being a power outlet and then having a plug, you know, that literally goes like all the way back into the wall. It's a it's, it's a nice deep connection. Um, okay, now this is actually pretty silly. Dating. I am an LA native, so I am no stranger to players. So, you know, I'll be on a date with a guy and he'll say, so what do you like to do for fun? And I'll say, oh, you know, skiing, swimming, tennis, running, you know, all that good stuff. And he'll say, no, I mean, what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> and so I sit there and I'm like, check please. <laughs> but um, sometimes their deceased loved ones will show up and start yelling at them if they're disrespectful to me. 
Um, one time I had, like in particular, this guy's dad show up and just start screaming at him saying, this isn't how I raised you. Um, you know, I raised you to respect women. You're not supposed to treat them this way. And then he's asking me to like Google Hawaiian men. <laughs> he's like, Google Hawaiian men. They're very protective of their women and blah, blah, blah. So that was really sweet. But unfortunately, I was the only one that could hear him. Um, another thing, dating advice from deceased loved ones. I channel a lot of grandparents, the older generation, very experienced in the dating world. They have a lot of uh, advice for me as far as my personal life is concerned. So that's a perk. That's a perk. I get a lot of uh, advice from, from your deceased loved ones uh, at the end of the channel session. Um, number nine, I get guided to things. This is super cool. I can't even tell you. Um, Valentine's Day. The other side guided me to this awesome bracelet at Macy's. It's this Michael Kors bracelet with three stars on it. And so I was walking around Macy's and the other side guided me to it. And they're like, here, buy this for yourself. And it was my favorite bracelet in the entire cabin. And I loved it. I thought it was so cute and sparkly. And it was the only one on sale. Michael Kors bracelet, normally $85, was on sale for $30. And so I was like, well, wait a minute. You know, what's going on with all the other bracelets then? I'm like, if it's only $30. And she's like, no. Um, that was the only bracelet on sale. <laughs> the perfect bracelet for me on sale. It was a really nice Valentine's Day present from the other side. My new car. I just got a Volkswagen Beetle. White. Love it. It's awesome. It's pure farfing new and it's so much fun to drive. Was I planning on getting a new car? Not at all. Within a two day period, it was like them planting the seed. Christine, your car is on this car lot over um, in Manhattan Beach. Go get it. I'm like, what do you mean my car? I'm like, I don't need a new car. And they're like, the car you have right now looks like Darth Vader. Go get this car. I got it. It's the perfect car for me. I love it. It's like my baby. So it's the other side hooking me up yet again. I get guided to things that they know are going to make me happy. So all in an effort to uh, keep my mood high because keeping my mood high benefits them because it improves my connection with them. Um, along those same lines, they prepare me for everything. Uh, if something bad is going to happen, especially, they will tell me probably, I would say two months ahead of time, this is going to happen. And they'll let me cry it out. And it's something that might be major or catastrophic. They'll let me cry it out for a while so that when that actually does happen, I'm completely prepared for it. And um, just softens the blow. It softens the blow. It gives me a heads up for something like that. So they, they will give me a, you know, a pre preparation for certain things that are going to happen in life. Um, protection. Now this is kind of like preventative measures. They prevented me from getting a DUI. Uh, I was angry and I was going to go to the bar and drink a bunch of alcohol and then drive home. And I disagreed with them. I'm like, I'm not going to drink too much alcohol. I'm just going to go I'm gonna have dinner, maybe a couple of drinks. It'll be fine. And so I was going to ignore them and they said, okay, you can completely ignore us, but just make sure you take your laptop out of your car so that when it gets impounded, you still have your laptop for your business. Um, oh, and make sure you give your cat enough food because you're going to spend the night in jail. <laughs> and so I did not go to the bar that night and I prevented a DUI from happening. <laughs> I finally listened to them after finding them. Uh, they've saved my life. They've saved my life quite a few times. Um, it's instead of piercing the veil, I, I call it blowing a hole out of it. Uh, they have the ability to scream at me. Um, I am very clear audience. A lot of times I can hear people's spirit guides talking to me. Uh, in this case, it was a scream and I'd never experienced that before, but it was a life or death situation where I was going to get killed by a car. And so it was this angry voice just screaming at me. So sometimes the other side doesn't really want you to know how closely connected they are to us, but they do have the ability to turn up the volume on the microphone if they know it's going to save your life. Um, I am very, very grateful for my gift. As you can see, I got some pretty good perks, which is why I encourage you guys to try to connect to your own personal team via meditation, automatic writing, whatever you guys want to do. Um, but just know that you do have this type of resource at your disposal. So I encourage you to tap into that. In the meantime, take care and be well. Thank you.